my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the first of my process videos for the show us your sheet load set of cards that I showed yesterday. And this is our sketch. I will be glad to link Alicia's first video in for you. And this is a little bit different this time because when we cut our piece of paper, obviously, when we make our card bases, we cut it in this way. And then what she had us do is lay it out on the cutter and just cut off one inch. Okay, and then when we fold it, it's gonna look like that. So that's what we did. And then we have these extra pieces. These are going to be for our sentiments. Okay, so because my copier does not print on the other side, I have two sheets. So this is our cutting guide. And I have already cut everything out. I did this last week. And I chose the set Tasty Treats from Stampin' Up. I did not realize I had so much left over. But I thought, okay, this is cute for summer, and also it'll make great birthday cards. So what I am using, I think the colors in here, there's Peekaboo Peach, and there's Watermelon Wonder, and there's Pool Party. Well, I don't have the coordinating cardstock, but I did find something in my stash that I thought would go well. This is a dark turquoise. And then I have this brilliant neon color, but I thought it would go really cute with the peekaboo peach. And then, let me get this so you can see. Enjoy your special day. That is going to be the sentiment on the front. And in the inside, I'll put happy birthday. sentiment strip is not quite that long um, I think this is the size of the mat and so we definitely want to cut the strip down accordingly and that's why I chose this sentiment strip to match so it wouldn't be too long okay and as you know I always set my clock my timer to see how much we can get done in 10 minutes. Let me get out my page in front of me here. We're gonna be putting on the matting first. No, we're gonna go ahead and put these pieces on first. I have two different colors, all blue matting, but two different pieces of pattern paper. Okay, so let's get started. A month, sometimes it feels like it goes on forever, and then other times it feels like it just it's there before you know it. Alicia is so good about all these, keeping up with all this stuff. I mean, she's a teacher. Maybe it's innate. <laughs> but when I cut up all these pieces and got them ready, I kept them in my little bag. This was given to me by a crafty friend. 
but it, it, it's, uh, it's a good idea. That way you don't get your all your projects mixed up. And then I just put a sticky note on the outside. done with these. Ah. Wow, that was fast. Okay, that one's gone. I don't have time to replace that right now. I did buy a refillable, but ah. Uh, bad timing. Oh well, liquid glue works too. Okay, one more. I did buy an ATG gun a few months ago. And then promptly lost the little black cover that pops on after you put the tape on. So, I can't use that. I'll have to do a major sweep of this whole room to try to find it. And then after that... It's a matter of watching the video a hundred times over to see how to put the tape on. <laughs> okay, so there's those. Now, if you'll notice, this goes on the very edge. See how she did that? Put this on the very edge. And I might trim it down. I don't know. I didn't trim down the flags uh, from last month's. And I since learned how to do that. Oops. There we go. It's going to fit right in the inside there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to cover it up just a little bit, but that's okay. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Oops, ha, the wrong one here. All right. Hmm, okay.
Okay, what am I missing here? Sorry about that. I was down to two minutes on the clock when I realized um, I needed to make a minor fix. So here we are in two minutes. And let's finish up the rest of these. Okay. Liquid glue, because I ran out of the other stuff. Put this on the edge. So both pieces, I, I realize now, both pieces are the same color here, and the, uh, the matting is a different color just for the sentiment. Okay, there's that one. Let me have to change the blade on my <clears throat> trimmer. It's getting a little raggedy. Oh, I knew it. We were getting close. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this on since I glued it. Okay, so all these pieces are together. We will stamp the sentiment. And then I will cut these down to match this. Okay, so here we are. Everything is matted. These two, these two pieces are matted. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.